Okay, so sometimes Articulate users ask, what is this PPTA file that gets created in the same folder as my PowerPoint file? Well, it's a file that Presenter creates to contain important stuff for your project, like your audio narration, playlists, any movies or web objects or attachments that you've added. And if you're using a logo or presenter information in your player, it contains those too. The PPTA file has the same name as your PowerPoint file. And the two files need to stay together in the same folder. If they're separated, then when you publish, things are not going to work right. If you ever need to share your files with another developer or just move them to a different location, you need to make sure to keep the two files together. In fact, it's best to bundle them up as an Articulate package. This is a zipped file that contains your PowerPoint, your PPTA, and if you've added any Quizmaker quizzes or Engage interactions to your project, those will get bundled with your package too. So let's take a look at how to create this Articulate package. In PowerPoint, you just come up to the upper left corner and click the Microsoft Office button, and then choose Send, and then click Articulate Package. And that will open up this window where you can enter some notes if you want, such as the name of the project, the version, you can enter your name and email, and any special instructions. Then when you're ready, you just click the Create Package button. And the zip file that gets created looks like this. Here's my PPTA file, here's my PowerPoint file, there's my Quizmaker quiz, and there's my Engage interaction. And this file at the top contains any notes that I added when I created the package. Now I can pass the package along to a colleague, or I can move it to a different location, knowing that it contains that PPTA file and the other files that I would need to open or edit or publish this project. So now you know all about the PPTA file that's used in your Articulate Presenter projects.